Corinthians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Through Christ. Sister Ellen, I, I'm telling you that this morning, I am not saying, although sometimes I'm cynical and I almost don't hear the politicians when they speak anymore. Because indeed, they do not even create the situation where you can even trust them. We were just talking on the car down tonight. And suppose when Sister P uh, and, 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 and the Minister of Finance gave their speech, you know? Suppose she had said, look, I have X number of ministries. I'm going to cut them by one third. It's going to cost pain. But we will save 200 million a year. We are each going to give up 15%. It's going to cost pain. We are already on the pay. Don't you think those who are now suffering this other thing would probably feel, you know, at least we are all into it. So sometimes we don't, in our marriages, in our relationships, in, in our church, in our community life, in our school life, we do not ourselves do enough to encourage people to even have trust in us. What says faith? What says faith? I, I remind you, you know, I have to remind you, uh, Romans 8, 36 says, Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through who? Him. Him. That what? That loved us. Okay. People more make to say we love. Politicians say they love you. People you marry say they love you. Children say they love their parents. Huh? Mm. But actions speak louder than yeah. words. Jesus did what? Say, greater love has no man than this than what? He, if a man will lay down his life for you, what else would he not do for you? Right? So if I go to God and in faith, I ask for something and I don't get it, I may be disappointed now, but I know if I had gotten that thing, it would probably kill me. Without faith, there is no Christianity. Faith does not exist in any religion except Christianity. Not other. I don't care what they call the great religions of the world. <laughs> they do not exist on a basis of faith. Of faith. Of faith. And we've been looking at this topic for several weeks. And we know the definition from Hebrews 11, verse 1. That faith is the substance of things what? Hope for and the evidence of things not oh my God. What a thing. How can there be something that has no substance? It doesn't exist yet. How can something how how how, how can it be? I ask when you sit at this, do you have faith in this chair? That doesn't take faith to sit in this chair. Sinners and non-believers and believers and scoundrels and everybody just come and they just do something. Some of them they just, they just want to sit up and what? The chair holds them up. You don't have to have no you see the evidence. The evidence is 10 people before you sat in it and it didn't break. Hello? Now you sit in it and it breaks, you say it's an accident. Are you me? You cannot have faith in an inanimate object. You can only have faith in God and in situations where there is no evidence. But I'm glad it's the Bible saying that without works, faith is dead. Do you have faith that you will pass your exams and achieve your goal of being a dentist? Do you have faith? Does that require faith? Huh? Yes, yes, faith. It requires faith up to a point, but I don't think so. The evidence is that people who study 
and apply themselves to what? That's why I say you will work to what? what? The only, let me tell you, you only need faith to the extent in that case that you don't prepare yourself. Then, or you prepare yourself to such a level, to your ability, but then you need that little measure of faith for God to come in and help you. Are you with me? Because there is evidence that people who don't spend all their time watching TV and running up and down with friends and who will not study, the evidence is faith is in a situation where there is no evidence. Right? That you will get that. There's no, in other words, it's beyond my human capacity. I tell you, we use this word faith. To be lazy sometimes. We use the word faith to excuse ourselves for not doing the basics. You know? It's like somebody come and knock your door, knock you up at night, asking you for something you have to say to the person. By the way, before you come wake me up, did you go and do so and so and so? Did you look in the cupboard at your house? If you didn't look at us, you said, come there and ready today and leave something in it. So, you know, you know, suppose Jesus was like that. Oh Lord, I will be depending on your faith are you to help me pass this exam. Suppose Jesus was the type and said, Did you did you did you check the cupboard to see that I already give you intellect, opportunity, school, food? When you could have been dead, when you could have been broke again, have you checked that yet? You're not even using that yet. Go and do that, and when you come, I will measure it up. I'm being literal now. Maybe I'm mean being academic, intellectual, and I'm sure God doesn't think in that way. But it seems rational that we understand that faith is that which takes you beyond where human frailty 